Hi there, my name is Craig Mill and I'm the e-learning advisor for inclusion and accessibility at the Regional Support Centre Scotland North and East and we're based in Telford College here in Edinburgh. Uh, we've, well, well my, my colleague Kent and I have been developing uh, what's called a USB pen drive which we call Access Apps. Uh, and it contains a range of free freeware and open source software. And if you're unsure what, what, what that is, well Kenji is going to very well explain what, what that is. Yes, well, open source software. That's software that's developed under a general public license. So usually teams of volunteers get together to create these applications and under the terms of the license guarantee that it will be freely available to anyone who wants to use it. And uh, we like free here at the Regional Sports Centre. Well, you do. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, the reason is because they, they offer such a range of opportunities for students who maybe don't have a disabled student's allowance. So, for example, um, you can use uh, software that, if you have a dyslexia-related difficulty, we've got some uh, programs that can change colour backgrounds for you. Uh, we've, if you have a mo mo mobility difficulty, then we've got some on-screen keyboards. But maybe you could tell us about how this actually works, Kenji. Well, the real key to this is that these applications are portable. They will work wherever you go. So you can take this key, plug it, <laughs> plug it into the desktop or the PC or the laptop that you're using, and a menu will open up and allow you to choose which application you want to launch. You don't need to install anything, it'll just run automatically off the stick. Now, the great advantage to that is that if you become accustomed to using this software, you're not tied into other people making a choice of the kind of software that you have to use. You can bring this anywhere you go and use the software that you want to use. So, uh, if I'm in a college and it has quite a, a closed network or a lockdown network, does, will it still work? It should, absolutely. Everything runs from its own folder. So, as soon as you put that key in, every application that's on it will run on that machine. Amazing. It's amazing. Um, so, um, well that's really it actually. Um, and as I say, Kenji says, you just pop it into your laptop and up to the menu will appear and uh, you can start using this. So, we hope that you uh, enjoy the uh, Access apps. And if you have any difficulties with it, please get in touch with either myself or Kenji here at the Regional Support Centre. And otherwise, it's uh, thanks Kenji for all your help. He's been doing all the development in it and I've been choosing all the applications. But uh, maybe if people have any other... Well, of, uh, just one last thing to say. If you're not lucky enough to meet Craig in person and get the apps from him directly, <laughs> you can visit our website, which yes. the address is outlined below here, mm -hmm. um, and download it for yourself. Yeah, okay, well, thanks for taking the time to, to, to watch this uh, video clip, and uh, it's goodbye from me, and it's... Goodbye from me! Well, bye!